Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, good afternoon, technically. But we are back on the farming series. So last video, we got Anhydrous on a little bit, and then we got stuck, pulled that out, and we haven't got on much Anhydrous since. So we need to finish up Anhydrous, and then we are going to get the 48-row planter out and start planting corn and soybeans. So we got a 48-row planter, and then we got a 16-row planter. And the 9530 with triples is going to be the baby that pulls this. So... This is the year series. We start all the way in the 1960s, 1970s, and every decade I've worked our way up to today, 2023. So we're going to get the brothers, the pair of tracks, the pair of T-tracks, the brothers, the 9630T, 9430T, going and rolling on in hydras. So I'm going to get the 9430T fired up. We'll just let her warm up, and then I'll get the 9630T fired up, let her warm up, and then buck should be here any second and he's gonna run one of these he's run late he ate some bad food or something like that also you'll probably hear me talking more about american farming more and more on videos as we're getting super close to release so check that game out we've only got trailers and content out on social media that's it we don't have a release date or anything like that i will update you guys as soon as we get a release date it's coming soon that's all i can say and our whole team's working our butts off. But to be able to do this with the features we're putting in, it just, I mean, everybody's going. I want to make this thing great. So hopefully once it comes out, you guys support, buy the game, check it out and stuff. Because we're, we're trying to do some cool stuff with it. So let me know. I'll post a couple pictures of the game in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's a mobile game that's going to be coming soon. American Farming that uh, our whole team is, is actually building the thing. Get that unfold, and we'll start rolling on some anhydrous. And speaking of American farming, a lot of people have asked if I'm going to play it. Of course, I'm going to play it on the channel. Uh, so we'll play that, and we'll still play farming similar. Farming similar is great on the PC. Don't get me wrong. We can get all the American mods we want. On mobile, it's a little tougher. So I'm going to be playing American farming once it comes to the mobile side. Okay, we got a lot of anhydrous acres to knock out, and we have two another anhydrous bar. But we have a third tractor sitting in the shed that you guys saw. And... Well, we could get started planting, but might as well knock out on the anhydrous. So I'm going to call the co-op and see if those guys have one more anhydrous bar we could rent. That way we can run three anhydrous bars to get all of our corn acres knocked out. Let's see if I can get them on Bluetooth here. Uh, Richard. Richard, he's the guy that manages the co-op. Hello? Richard. Do you Grant, got any... how you doing? How do you know it was me? Usually when I hear this number call, at this time of day, it means someone's about to drop a whole lot of money. Okay. Well, hey, if I drop a whole lot of money, do you have a third in Hydra's bar you could run out to us? Oh, no. Don't hit the pole. Okay, we're good. Unless you're willing to pay a premium. How much? How much are we talking per ton? 50 bucks a ton? Premium? 70. 70? You got yourself a deal, Richard. Yeah, uh, the bar will be sitting back here probably. It won't be back until, I think, uh, 1 o'clock. So about 15 minutes, so... Might have to wait a little bit. Okay. I'll have uh, Nate the Great come pick it up. All right. Sounds good, sir. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Richard. I got to give Nate a call real quick. Hello. Nate. Hey. I, I, uh, hey, what are you doing? Well, I just parked in your yard. So what do you need me to do? Do you want to take the 9530 on wheels with trips down to the co-op and pick up the Hydra's bar? Richard's got one. He's got one more left that we can run. That would have been nice to know when I was in town. Well, yeah, sure, your truck that. can't pull it. Well, I get—I shouldn't say that because I pulled the anhydrous bar with my pickup. But you could take your pickup truck if you want. It's up to you. Just don't wreck it. Nah, I brought this in my truck. I'm, I'm going to take your tractor. Okay. Sounds good. Buck, how much anhydrous you got in there? Um, let me check. Yeah. About 80%. Okay, that should be good enough. That should be get, able to get us. I'm going to run down to the co-op and refill with Richard real quick. Okay. If you want to just like get going, and then, hey, dude, we got we got a third in Hydra's bar from Richard. Nate's going to be running it. What do you need a third bar well, for? Well, we got to knock out acres quick. Come on now. Sounds to me like you procrastinated with your trip down to Florida a little too long, buddy. Hey, you got to Next time go. you worry about the crop work rather than that. There's a reason that I have my equipment that's owned, not financed. We got to go, man. We're only losing three bucks an acre a day. Well, what if we are you doing sitting plant. in the middle of the road? Well, I'm trying get to argue way. with you very nicely. Argue nicely, my rear end. <laughs> okay, we'll Fuck see you. Nice don't go together. What bird is it? If you have a problem, the complaints department's over there. You know, right next to the dumpster where I really don't care. Okay, we gotta run one of these in tanks. Go refill it real quick. 
and keep running with those guys. Green lights all the way. That's what I like to see. Okay, so here's where they keep the bulk and hydrous. You pull under here, and then you got a guy that fills you up, and you're on your way. Okay, and we are back, and the boys are running. Pull the truck over there, and get her hooked up again. Hey, there goes another farmer. Hey, anybody know the guy with the red tractor? Kinsey Planter? Is that Jake? Ah, oh, it's Jake. Okay, I am going to be followed behind the man, the myth, the legend, Rental Man Buck. And I think Nate's going to join in, and we're, we all three are going to run side by side. Nate, how fast can you pull her? Nine miles an hour. She don't want to go no slower and no faster. Relax it there. Oh, uh, we are rolling, boys. I'm going to try and keep her straight here to even out anything. That way I'll we just got. catch anything that you, if you have to move over, I catch it on the left side. I'm not doing a full pass. Okay. Uh, so whoever's Next. in the middle needs to be the person who takes uh, first. Oh yeah, boys, we got this down. I knew where the line was. I didn't see the <laughs> little extension of the wing. Oh I yeah. I see right where his conga line was. Hey, Buck, how you doing? You better hope I don't slam on my brakes. <laughs> oh, we're good. I trust you. I trust you. That was your first mistake. Look for the end of his wing and look for the line coming right down to the end row and then you'll know exactly where you need to put the wing. Got it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right there. That's right there. Sure. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do, but I didn't see the wing part on the edge. It's like, ah, oh, shoot, it was two rows off. Okay, we are done with Anhydrous. We finished that up pretty quick, but um, Buck is getting hooked up to the planner. We got a new case planner. He's getting ready to go on that. So we'll have a case magnum with a case planner. And then I'm going to get hooked up to the 48 row planner. We're going to start planting corn at the home place here. Uh, we got red versus green coming up here. Okay, we are on our way to buy some seed, and we're taking the classic truck. You have to take the classic truck when you buy seed for the first crop of the year. So, that's what we're doing. We're taking the old 72 Ford. And we are going to load this thing down, but she'll handle her just fine. Trust me. Okay, we're just about there to the farm, and we are loaded down. Just a little load, light load for this Ford. And Buck is screaming at me, waiting for me to get seed back. But I'm telling him, oh, it takes me a little bit. Oh, we got to make sure we don't hit those power lines. Hold up. Hold up here. Who brought the leaning oh, tower shoot. of Pisa to the Iowa? Buck, can you come check me make sure I'm underneath the power lines? No. Seed dealer. He, the, Johnny, load me down the, a little too much this time. We're good. We should what am I gonna? What am I going to do? Go up there and grab the power line? <laughs> Just hold it with your hand. We're good. We cleared it. Just by a little bit. I ain't no bird. Oh, she is squatting, boys. She is squatting. The mere fact that you have yet to blow up that truck is beyond me. <laughs> oh. Buck, I got your seed. Okay, so Buck talked me into getting a big Facebook photo with all the equipment before plant season starts. It's pretty much essential. So we're going to... I like it. how you always anticipate that I'm the one that's giving you these ideas <laughs> when you know absolutely that I'm not going to do that. This is the first time I've unfolded her, and holy Toledo, this thing is big. Okay, just dropping off the anhydrous bar there. We'll take that back to go up at some point. Needs getting his spray ready to go, and he's going to do custom spraying for us. And so, I think the two track tractors, we might have a couple fields we got to field cultivate. But most of these things, most of these are going to be sitting for a while. It'd be nice to have another planter. We can get another 48 row planter. <laughs> Throw it on the 9630D. Don't tell Buck, though, because he'll think I'm crazy. Buck, you think we're going to use all that seed on this? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so we're just refilling with seed. Throwing her all in. We're getting her unfolded for the first time ever. We're planting with a 48 row. i got to make sure our depth is good while it's getting unfolded. We look to be set pretty good. Closing wheels, and they're in the second spot. That's good. Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do is give her a shot and see how she plants. Here we go. We're going to drop this thing to the ground. Let's see what she does. It's throwing off my tractor a little bit. The articulated tractor, it's, it's weird. It's like lifting it up. We'll have to see how it does. Turn on our vax. Okay. And we're going to drop her in the ground. And go. 
So this is a high speed planter. We got the high speed tubes, exact emerge. And we're planting at nine mile an hour. We're planting corn at nine mile an hour. That is crazy. Pulling up a hill with a 9530. We're gonna jump out quick. Check our seeding depth, make sure everything's looking good. Mm, two and a quarter, two and a half inches deep. Don't have any sidewall compaction. Yeah, we're doing good, got good spacing. I think we're set. Okay guys, we did one full pass there. It's tough to tell the difference between planned and non-planted though. Oh, wait a sec. So that is one pass across the field. That's how big a planting path we have. Our yield potential is 125%. So we're good. We actually have enough fertilizer where we don't have to use much liquid fertilizer at all. So we're good. 48 rows. <laughs> wow. I think we're going to need another one. Oh, we got a call from Jake. Yeah. Hey, Grant, what you up to? You all planting? Uh, well, I'm trying to drive this boat of a planter, the 48 row. I'm trying to do end rows with this thing. I'm putting her in the ditch. I mean, she's getting a bath pretty much every time. It's tough to control this thing. But yeah. Did you say 48 row? 48 row. You should come check it out. Okay. Uh, well, I was, I was just calling you like, no, I got a full trailer of seed and fertilizer, and it's more than I need. So if you guys need any and you don't want to take a full trip, just call me and I'll run over to you. How much you got? Because I'd take it all. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a lot a full trailer a full semi trailer retail price well i'm just i'm still gonna need to use some myself but i've got way more than i need so yeah you just okay. let me know when you need it and retail price okay with whatever you got left you. with whatever you got left drop it over because we're gonna need it all trust me on this you betcha will do okay sounds good we'll see you jake all right see you around Okay, so a while back we had a landlord come to us and they wanted to lease us this farm 25 and 22 me and Nate split it. So he gets 22 to rent for his farm ground and I get 25 to rent for my farm ground. So I think I might have Nate custom plant 25 for us. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but I think he'll start planting his own acres here. We have not even completed the headland and we're already out of seed corn. We have 0.2 bushels in the hopper and we are empty. I gotta lift up and go get some more seed corn. But honestly, what I'm thinking, guys, we could use another 48 row, especially with the land we picked up and rented. Because we got rain coming, we got to get this stuff knocked out quick. So we'll see. Maybe next episode. We'll see. We got a little bit of cash in the bank account still. But uh, anyways, guys, I think this is going to be the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And check out American Farming if you haven't seen the trailer or anything. It's coming soon. So thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.